Gather round, everyone, and hear again the tale of Drak Fu. Welcome back, everybody, and happy Friday, and here we go. Hopefully today we will finish up the questing in the sunken city of Ashir so that we can move on into the next zone. Now, if we get really, really close, just like I've done in previous parts, I will go a little long so that we can finish up the zone, and next week we can start off in the new zone. If not, then we'll finish up next week. So, we just barely made our way into the Tenebrous Cavern, and we do have a quest, Environmental Awareness, to take care of some Terrapin, Remora, and Hammerhead Oil. Now, if I remember correctly, this quest actually does take a while, so... In order to be able to help things along, I know that it's been super, super early. I'm going to go ahead and start things off with a questing break. So, go! Okay, we're stopping the questing break because I just barely came across a new quest. Secure Seabrush. The Alliance has spies in this area? Tenebrous Cavern is nearby, and inside lies the Horde's new submarine, the Vern. The Alliance must not be allowed anywhere nearby. Someone in this in the cavern will want to hear of this incursion after you finish slaying some more of these scheming alliance spies So we need to kill seven of them. So there we go. We have an additional quest uh, quest So let's go ahead and resume the break go Okay, so now that we have these quests done, let's go ahead and turn them in at Tenebrous Cavern, which is really funny because technically we... So you guys read the quest where we didn't want to reveal this, this submarine. Literally down the street, like maybe a couple of houses, is the Alliance with their experimental submarine. Gee, I wonder if this is a trend or something. So that's one of the things that always made me laugh about this area. So welcome back to the Vern. For some reason, it decided to dismount me from my seahorse. Uh, whoop! There we go. So let's go ahead and turn these quests in. Uh, first of all, with Bloodguard Toldrek. You did well, Drakfu. We need to be especially wary of the Alliance attacks right now. The Vern's got plenty of firepower out at sea, but back in this cave, she's far too vulnerable. All right, and then Fiasco. Oh, go! Please, don't tell other goblins that I'm an environmentalist. I don't think I can take the mocking. Please. Okay. Fiasco sticks a finger into each sample and sniffs it. Yeah, I think this'll do. Alright, the perfect fuel. How much do you know about fuel, Drakvu? Constructing the perfect fuel is a tricky job, as there's plenty of factors to balance. Chronopyroxidation parameters, temporal incendiary variables, conflagration acidification criteria, and that's only naming a few. All of which involve fire and explosions, because goblins. Hopefully the samples you brought me can be combined in the right proportions to create the perfect biofuel. Use that table over there and try combining some samples. Bring me the result, bring the result to tell me when you're done. Alright. This one, oh crap, I forgot about this quest. This actually does have a specific deal to it. Um, hmm. You know what? We're going to go ahead and magic cut because I'm going to need to bring up the, the perfect uh, biofuel. Otherwise, I got to go get more, I think. So, be right back. Okay, we're back. So, uh, I actually needed to go grab my phone really quick so that I can make sure I had a wow head up to be able to do this properly. Let's go ahead and get these started. You can use the beakers and alchemy tools to perform experiments with various types of submarine fuel. Let's get started. Several small samples of oil sit in front of you, along with an empty beaker. The beaker looks like it can probably fit about five samples inside of it. What kind of oil will you use? So first of all, we're going to use three hammerhead oil samples. And then two remora oil samples. And mix the samples together. You have all five samples. Boom! You've discovered a new type of biofuel. Bring it to Fiasco Sizzle Grin for testing. Okay, so bring it over here. Don't waste I got time. I got your fuel. I don't know about you, but I really miss the unlimited raw materials that were down in the ruins. I'm not even sure if I could come up uh, if I can make a dud grenade out of that little out of the little that can be scrounged up in this cave. Uh here here's the promising fuel sample. Three parts hammerhead, two parts remora. No way. And there you go. This is it! The perfect vial fuel. Good work, Drakfu! Makes sense. 
That's it. Starting today, I'm shifting the Vern over to biofuel. I'll send some men up to harvest more oil. Think of all the sea creatures that we've saved today, Drakfu. Uh, well, I had to kill them to get the oil, so you didn't really save anybody. But I'm an environmentalist! Uh-huh. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab the next quest, which is from Captain Jules Vern. It's my way or the highway. Rocco. Captain Vern looks down at his watch. Where is that hunter? I sent Orocco to Underlight Canyon to prepare a recon report a week ago. Sure, he's a handful, and I didn't mind getting him out of my hair, but I need his report. Say, what's your name, Drakfu? Would you be willing to tr go track him down? It seems strange to send a monk to find a hunter, but I'm running out of options. Hey, I got your back. All right, so that's our next assignment. We need to go find Orocco. Let's go ahead and do it. Woohoo, out of the Tenebrous Cavern we go. And up into the Abyssal Depths. <clears throat> so yeah, this is the third and final area of Vashir. That's why I'm fairly confident we'll be able to finish it today. I do know that you get the achievement way before you actually finish the zone. But no worries. We're going to finish it. No, oh, and look at that. There's actually another Nespira here. There's another big guy. So I'll, I'll bet that we have to do some questing with him, huh? Ah, uh, but things don't look good for him. You know, where the eyes were vibrant for Nespira, these are these are gray. He might be dead, maybe. I have a feeling we'll need to go into him, but it might not be the best idea. Alright, so this is Enderlight Canyon. And where is our guy? Oh, here he is. Here's our Rocco. Or no, this is Humphrey. Uh, this is the Alliance guy. So, oh, do we have to go in a little bit further and get then we get him? I'm confused. This is under Light Canyon, so what the heck? Oh, did he say under Light Cave? Oh boy. Uh, yeah. Huh. Well, we gotta find him. Yeah, at under Light Canyon, we need to find him here. So let's go up here. See if maybe he's over here. Oh, there he is. Okay, here we go. Wow. He has not gotten used to underwater mechanics with his gun. Yes. Okay, he's got the peon voice. I'm doing the peon voice. God, these fish. Ah, these fishes are impossible to hit. Rocco looks at you. My wolf got eaten by a fish. I'm not going back until I find her. Okay, glow juice. Shooting fish in burial is easy. Shooting fish in an ocean is a, a little harder. Have you seen the murlocs down in the canyon, Monk? They don't shoot at all. They have little balls full of glow juice on their heads, and they make that make the fish come to them. Here, we should try that. Go south and kill the crabs and groupers in the canyon. They have lots of glow juice in their skin. I've seen it. All right, so we need some glow juice. Because that solves all of our problems, right? Let's see, so this is what you gotta kill to get. Glow juice! Uh, is it just the fish? Or can I kill the crabs too? The crabs will get it. So, boom, here we go. Oh no. These are more feral murlocs. But murlocs nonetheless. Oh boy, okay. We've had no luck with the glow juice. You know what, let's go ahead and do a questing break. I have a feeling this is really rare, so go! All right, we have all of the glow juice. Here's hoping that this fixes the problem. Oh, big tentacles all over the place. Roll for school girl damage, everybody! No, wait, you can't do that because I already did a Drak Tries of Prey, and there's lots of tentacles in there. Uh, so here's Araco, we're back! You, uh, we need lots and lots of glow juice. Here, look at how glowy it is! Araco looks wistfully off in the distance. My wolf had things that were glowy. Oh. Rest in peace, Rocco's wolf, buddy. All right, so we have two quests. Here, fishy, fishy. Rocco rolls the glow juice into a ball, then attaches it into a device that he's clearly been working on for a long time. Hey, I got you this hat. It was, it has a light on it, and will make the fish follow you. I just, just like the murlocs. The murlocs like to hunt in the kelp and coral along the sides of the canyon. If you put this hat on and swim in that kelp, you might catch some fish like they do. Okay. And then die, fish man, die. 
A fish ate my wolf, and murlocs look like fish. I'm going to make those murlocs pay. Head back down to the canyon and kill the fishman. My wolf will be avenged. All right, so you heard the man, orc thing. Let's go ahead and do this. Now, this is actually kind of a cool concept. Uh, for the Undernight Nibblers, all you got to do is go to, like, these little ports inside the coral to collect them. And all you got to do is get to 30. Now, it takes a while, so here we go again. Questing break, go! Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say questing break? Not just yet, because we just barely got an uh, another quest. I brought you this egg. This appears to be an egg from one of the various... Oh, wow, I didn't even realize the hat. Okay, yeah, that, now I know where people get the pimp hat. This appears to be an egg from one of the devious great eels that float up above the canyon. You wonder whether or not Arako might be interested in something like this. Okay, so we'll bring that over. Now, let's go ahead and do a questy break. Go! Okay, now that we've gotten the murlocs killed, as well as the little fishies, let's go ahead and turn these into Arako. We also have this egg, so I'm sure he'll be interested in that as well. Arako, we're back! Something you doing? Uh, here, fishy fishy. How many did you catch? Well, you told me 30. Mm, you got a lot of fish, but none of these are the ones that ate my wolf. I think it was probably a bigger fish. Of course it was. Mm -hmm. Die, fish man, die. I know, murlocs aren't fish. I thought that killing them would make me feel better. But I still feel sad about my wolf. Oh, Rocco sighs. Something you doing? I brought you this egg. Blam. You brought me something? <laughs> That's a big egg. Rocco sniffs it. It is big and it smells like fish. Maybe the big fish that made this egg is the big fish that ate my wolf. I'm sure it is. Here, Fishy Fishy 2, Eel Egg Trick Boogaloo. <laughs> <laughs> I love the title sometimes. Rocco removes an explosive trap from his sack and shoves it through the egg's outer membrane. This will make the egg explode. Place the egg down next to one of those giant eels and wait for them to come close. When the egg explodes, the big fish will be almost dead and you can finish killing it. Save my wolf. With this egg, you can do it. All right. Oh, and also, um, we did get an additional quest from him. So want? let's get that. Rocco's report. You might remind Arako that he's supposed to send a report back to Captain Vern. Oh, right, a report. All I've seen here is fish. Lots and lots of fish. Arako looks over at the sack of fish that you brought for him. Bring this sack to the captain. This is my report. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I probably have experienced this quest at least once. Uh, but I don't remember it. And this is great. This is, this is the advantage of actually uh, trying to do the quests with you guys, because it works out so well. Uh, let's see, we need to use the eel explosive, uh, eel explosive device. So let's go ahead and use it. And this will summon down a devious great eel. Boom! That did not kill it. And in fact, I think I'm not going to get there in time for it to resume. I need to get closer. There we go. Well, let's go ahead and kill it. And we've now avenged his wolf buddy. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and uh, turn these in, and then we'll head back to the Tenebrous Cavern. We've at least avenged the... Oh, oh, Arf! Arf! Wolf seems to be appreciative. Oh, he might be following me home. Yay! We saved Arako's wolf! There he is! There's wolf, Arako's pet. <laughs> and the helmet is just great. Okay. Hi, Arako. Arako is busy playing with Wolf. Oh, thank you, Drakfu. I knew Wolf was alive. Here, take one of these. I don't need them anymore. <laughs> I love it. Okay, let's go ahead and take the eel cutter. And let's go ahead and do a quick magic cut while I make my way back to Tenebrous Cavern. Okay, we are back in the Tenebrous Cavern, so let's go ahead and turn this into Captain Jules Verne. There we are. Okay, so head over to him. We have your uh, you have your report. It's a bag of fish. I ain't getting paid to chat. Where was he? What happened? Oh, I'm sorry. Where was he? Where at? What happened? This is his report. Oh, that idiot. I suppose we could use the food. Thanks, Drakfo. You've done as well as can be expected. Don't try anything stupid. All right, now we have three brands making new quests. First of all, with Bloodguard Torbeck or Toldrek. 
blood and thunder. So, treasure reclamation. We have our reinforcements, but they still need to be paid. They won't be cheap. Up on Deep Friend Ridge to the northwest, the slimy Giblin have stolen all sorts of treasure. It's time to reclaim some of it for the Horde. Hellscream's eyes are upon you, Drakfu. Uh, I just, again, I hate that saying. Damn it. Okay. Fiasco Sizzle Grin. Quickly. Those aren't masks. Drakfu, there are demon squids out there that are eating Giblin's heads and taking them over. They better not come in here. Think you could swim out northwest out of, onto Deep Fin Ridge or into Syracat's front and bring me back some of those merciless things? Preferably dead, I think. Careful yeah, let's there. go with dead. All right, and then Sergeant Gertrude. I haven't got all day. Hmm, just between you and me, hon. I'm too short to pull this kind of duty. One more month and I'm out. I've already died once. No sense doing it a second time. So, Syracast slaying. So you're the Drakfu everyone's been talking about. It's good to finally meet you. Hi! Well, enough talk, right? Let's get down to it. I need you to swim out northwest to the Syracast front. Kill those Naga real quick. Nothing fancy. They're looking for a fight and we'll give them one. Well, you will. So, 10 Naga dead. And a standard day for Azrajar. Drakfu, the Naga are after our forces. I need you to go back northwest to Deep Fin Ridge and stick our standard in their general, Fathom Collar Azrajar. As people might remember from the Battle Maiden quest line, he's one of the other generals. They'll swim away with their tails tucked between their. Oh, well, I guess they don't have any legs now, do they? No. Alright. So, let's go ahead and get this done, and we're going to head over to Deep Fin Ridge. Which is just basically another Naga settlement. But you'll notice that the map is centered, or not centered, but they're off way in, in the other, or way across the map, at least to the north. But in the middle is that abys uh, Abyssal Breach. That's where we're making our way to, people. That's where the end of the Vashir quest line is going to be. Because that is the entrance, as we saw earlier in the uh, in a couple of parts ago, that's where the entrance to the Plain of Water is. So we need to make sure to take care of that. And we're almost there. Oh, big whale shark! Look at all that tentacled horse! Oh no! What are we walking into? Do we have a schoolgirl skirt on? Uh, hopefully not. Oh, and we actually have another quest over here that we can take. So let's go ahead and float all the way down here to go grab it from Wave Speaker Valoran of the Earthen Ring. Oh, hello. Open your heart to the light. Free, free Willy, <laughs> free Willy. It's free Willy, guys. Those tentacled horrors rising from the depths have trapped that poor beast. Please, Drakfu, can you save it by destroying those things? Will you free Willy? <laughs> Sure! No, I'm not going. Rule, don't rule a 34 of that. Don't, don't do it. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, here, take my totem and plant it near the tentacles. The cold that emanates will cause major shriek. <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> will cause major shrinkage on those monsters, and then you'll be able to destroy them. Why does it always involve that kind of thing when we're talking about tentacles? And don't you dare rule 34 that internet. <laughs> okay. So, all you have to do is use these totems, I believe, on the tentacle horrors. And it's, yeah, it's the shrinkage totem. So now we can kill the tentacle. Never thought I'd see the day when we're, when we're actually toting around a shrinkage totem. Thanks, Valoran. I guess. I don't know what these tentacles... Well, actually, no. Never mind. I don't want to know what these tentacles did to you for a, tr for a shrinkage totem. Okay. But you guys are going to let me know! So, we've taken care of that. We freed Willy! We freed Willy. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn this in. Hi, Valoran. We're back. Thank you, Drakfu. These nightmarish creatures that rise up from below give me pause. I fear that our efforts will be for nothing. All right. Well, we're honored with the Earthen Ring, so that's a good thing. And here is the Naga encampment. Now, we have four quests to get done here, so let's go ahead and do another questing break. Go! Go!
All right, now that we've taken care of all of the little sub quests that need to be taken care of right now, let's go ahead and uh, finish things off with. Oh no, Fathom Caller Ajar has already been killed by this warrior. No! Crap! Well, let's go ahead and magic cut while he respawns. There we go. We killed him. Yay. Let's go ahead and get back to Tenebrous Cavern to turn all this stuff in. And for that, magic cut. All right, we are back in the Tenebrous Cavern. So let's go ahead and turn in these four quests. There we go. So first of all, Bloodguard Toldrick. How much did you plunder? How much plunder did you get, Drakfu? <laughs> That's a lot! And we know there was where there's more should the need arise. Alright, then let's go ahead and do fizz uh, fiasco. What's that smell? Uh days. Oh, they're ugly, but they mostly look harmless. Mostly. They're almost cute in the way. Yeah, let me clean the giblin stuff off of these. I, I got a I got an idea. And there you go, we have the achievement for sinking into Vashir, which is a whole 130 quests, but we're not done yet. So, here we go, put it on. I've got an idea for a sweet disguise, but I'm gonna need your help, Drakfu. Take one of these merciless corpses and put it on your head. I know, I know, but it's dead. So what could possibly go wrong other than you smelling bad for a day or two? Ready to put it on? No. Okay. Oh no! What the, Drakfu? Run! Why did I ever leave Brill? No! I'm killing everybody! <laughs> Somebody kill it! You fool, stop running around! Face it! We're trying! I love killing you all! No, I don't! Yes, you do! Somebody knock that thing off a of Drakfu's head! Uh, you do, I can't even. Re Who puts a dead thing on a person's head anyway? Help! I come from below. All right. <laughs> Who puts a dead CD even on their head? Really? <laughs> I love the reaction to this quest. It's like, well, that was a good idea, now wasn't it? Okay, let's go and turn this into fiasco. Oh, go. Uh, let's see. So put it on. My bad. My name is Fiasco for a reason. I should have known that thing wasn't completely dead when it wiggled a little. You say it gave you a vision? Of all- of killing all of us? Well, that doesn't sound good. Hmm. Well, that earthen ring fellow, well, we're next stone speaker, wants these specimens all taken out to him. I'll make sure they get out there. It's not like I want them stinking up the place around here. Alright, yeah, you do that. I don't want to do it anymore. Promontory point. Trackful, I need you to get this information to Legion and Nazgrim on Promontory Point. He's up there to the northwest with Aranax Stone Speaker and those Earthen Ring people. All right, there you go. I believe that's the setup. No, it's not. Okay, we're we're almost there though. So, Sergeant Gertrude. Yeah. So, Sirikas slaying. Nice, Drakfu. That will show those Naga who's the boss. Now it's time for that drink. You want rum or wine? Please don't put that thing on your head again. Embrace the shadow. I have a feeling that's going to be the episode title. Put one on my head? Uh, a standard day for Azrajar. Stuck through, stuck him right through, did you? I would have loved to have seen that. Dark lady, there you go. So, our next objective is to go to Promontory Point uh, for our next set of quests. Basically, this is going to be the final push towards the Abyssal Breach. So, let's go ahead and head over there. And once again, happy Friday, everybody. I hope everybody's having a good week, because it's almost done. You're almost there, then you get the weekend, then you get to do whatever the heck you want. For me, obviously, it's been pretty busy, but thankfully, it's getting a little bit better, because uh, we're getting ready to, to put out some reviews and all that fun stuff. You guys have already seen all the stuff that's come out this week. We've had Tales of Drakfu. We had Dungeons and Drakfus, where we pretty much finished up the Dungeon Wings of Tempest Keep. Uh, we also had the... Well, that hasn't happened yet, but this afternoon, check check out the video this afternoon. I think you guys will like it. Um, we're going to be starting up something that should have been started up a while ago. And uh, let's see, Wednesday we also did Drac Tries for Prey. That's why I have uh, tentacles on the brain. That's what happens, people. You play the game Prey, and then you have tentacles on the brain. That's how it works, right? Ah, here we go. So we just have to go all the way down here. And, oh, look, fla Faceless Ones. 
That's not good. Old God territory right here. All right, where the heck is Promontory Point? I thought I was going to the right area, but no. The crap. Oh, it's probably at up at top. It's up on this very fragile piece of rock. Yeah, of course it is. There it is. All right, everybody. So let's talk to Asgrim. And honor. If it weren't you saying it, I wouldn't believe that the troublesome god, uh, what that troublesome godlin had to say. This is troubling indeed. But I think our Earthen Ring friends have a few ideas. And now that you're here... Strength. Clearing the defile. These Earthen Ring want us to do their killing for them. There are faceless down below in the Scalding Chasm that are defiling all of the wildlife. I know! We saw them! Swim down there and take care of it. Alright, cool. So basically we're freeing them. Uh, let's go ahead and do Wave Speaker Tolra. You wish to speak? <coughs> Scalding Shrooms. We think that we have a use for the merciless ones that your friend from the cave delivered to us, but I need a preservative for it. Down below in the scalding chasm are some mushrooms with the properties that I need. Bring back some of, uh, bring some back up to me, and I'll see what I can do. Wins, and Aranak. Hello, friend. Into the totem. You must take my totem down into the scalding chasm. Use it to capture the energies of the faceless as they die. The totem will keep them from returning from whence they came. When the totem is full, bring it back to me, and we will use it to lure their leader from deep down below. Find your center. All right, so we need to take care of this, and for that, questy break, go! Okay, so we've taken care of the wildlife around, as well as the faceless ones trying to take control, and gotten some shrooms for Tolra. So let's go ahead and turn all these in. First of all, the shrooms! Ah, I've been expecting you. I heard that you had an unpleasant encounter with putting one of the demons on your head. Why on earth would you do that? I can assure you that they are all now quite dead. I will use the mushrooms as a reagent to treat the corpses. We'll have one ready for you soon. Oh no, I gotta put another one on your head on my head? Oh no! So Nazgur. Well done. Don't get too full of yourself, Drakfu. The hard part's about to come. Alright, and then Aranak. Listen. Yes, Blood Elf. Can you feel them seething with a desire to break free and destroy us? This is good. They will be the perfect lure for their leader. It will come. I now imbue you with the energies of the corrupting faceless. Swim down to my luring totem in the trench to the northeast. Release the energies through it. Bring back the brain of their leader. Call forth to Ichthys the Unfathomable. It will come. Do not let the darkness okay. triumph. So now we need to go all the way over here to take care of basically a named elite. So if you see that green circle down below, that's where we're going. And that's where Stone Speaker's Luring Totem is. Let's go ahead and call him down. Because that's always a good idea. There we go. Oh, look at that. We're summoning. Summoning what exactly? We don't know. Oh, crap. No, no I'm not going to get eaten. Nope, it's not happening. No getting eaten. Not happening. And here is Ichthys the Unfathomable. Fathomable. It's basically just cast her faceless. I laugh at you, feeble track fool, but I will oblige. Now let us return to my master below. Uh, good luck with that, because I'm taking your brain. Brains. Oh, he made a little clone of track fool. That's cute. All right, so let's head back up to Aranak. We have your brain. How are you going to do horrible, unspeakable things, Aranak? You're a shaman, after all. You're not supposed to do stuff like that. Here we go. Aranak, I have your brain. Speak with me. Do you have it, Drekfu? With the Unfathomable's brain, we may yet still be able to communicate with Lagoric, the, ancient, the dying Ancient One in front of us. So he's dying. He's not dead yet. So the Naga have gone to town on him, unfortunately. And now we will see if you can get if we can get you into Lagoric to speak with it before it dies. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, that's a mastery trinket. Unplug Lagoric. 
Ligorak is an ancient that rests upon the shelf across from us. It is being controlled and its life energy slowly consumed by something immense beneath us. There is a cave known as the Undersh Undershell down below, but down below Ligorak. In that cave are three powerful ogre magi that are maintaining a ritual connecting the thing below with the ancient. You must, ki you must kill these three to disconnect Ligorak. Maintain right. focus. Then Nazgrim has a quest so, for us. So. Fiends from the Netherworld. Those ogre magi inside the Undershell have summoned defenders. Fiendish fiends from the Netherworld. I do not want to see these aberrations used against our forces. While you are in there, destroy all of them. Alright, so all you have to do is... There's a chasm beneath, and we just have to kill off some ogre magi as well as some nether fiends. Not too hard, right? So, here are the big old tentacles, and here is Urgaz. Here's our first guy. There we go. And for every one we beat, the tentacles recede. So, good to know. Let's try and get the nether fiends done first, because... We're not magic cutting this. Obviously, there's a couple of named elites. So, or named guys. So, we're gonna do this live for you, everybody. I hope everybody's having a good Friday. Because we're doing it live, people. I need to okay. Six out of eight. That's gonna be all eight. So, we don't need to worry about that anymore. And unfortunately, Urgos has respawned. So, that means more tentacles. Ah, I hope everybody rolled for their schoolgirl damage. And here is Scooboo. Hi, Scooboo. Move your Scooboo. And then I think if we go, yeah, it's over here. We got to take care of Neflahim. Neflahim. <coughs> there we go. Can that be Nephilim? Like a really weird, weird way to spell it. That might be. Okay, so let's head back over to Aranak and Nazgrim. And I believe the next quest is actually going to take us inside Ligorik. Now, we're actually getting really close to that hour. Um, but I can also tell you, we are very close to finishing Vashir. So we're going to finish Vashir. Uh, it'll go, the video will go a little bit longer than normal. So let's go ahead and get this started. Aranak. Yes. Now that you've unplugged Lagorak, we must attempt to make contact with it. I can sense th that the Ancient yet lives, but only barely. Alright, communing with the Ancient. Place the dead merciless one upon your head to pose as one of their slaves. And to Lagorak, commune with the Ancient. Keep okay. peaceful mind. Yay, we got a thing on our head, and it looks like it's very much alive. What do you need? Fiends from the Netherworld. That's, that's one less thing we need to think about during the final assault. Go. All right, so we need to go commune with Ligorek. While having a merciless one on our head. So, yeah, I think the episode title here is going to be... You want me to put... You want to put what on my head? Uh, let's see. All we got to do is go up a little bit further. And once again, we are inside an ancient, except this one has a couple of differences. First of all, there's a bunch of Twilight's banners... And there's a big temple in the middle. Hmm. This guy has been enslaved for far too long. So let's go ahead and speak to Ligorek. Now, I, people might remember the previous voice I did. That was a crab. This one is just going to be a little bit more noble. I sense something. Come closer. Wise of your Aranak to have you use the faceless brain. I see you now. I will die. There is no stopping the inevitable. But you will help me deal with these parasites first. Alright, so Lagoric's voice booms inside your mind. I am almost dead. You must help stop the Twilight's hammer. They drain my energy to create their ascendants. They are a grave threat in the imminent water versus war versus Neptulon. And again, he is the elemental lord of water, and this is the ultimate goal of the Naga. So runestones of binding. On the other side of my chamber there 
are candidates for ascension. We will need their rune stones of binding to create a means of controlling a bound elemental. Okay. And then also we have Ascend No More. To stop their rituals of ascension, you must destroy the ancient conduits. They use the conduits to siphon my energies away and make ascendance. A fight with Neptulon is, imm is imminent. The Twilight's Hammer must be denied these creatures. All right, so now we have a couple of things to do. We need to get rune stones of binding as well as ancient conduits. And for that, let's go ahead and do another questing break. Go! Okay, so quick pause at the questing break because we have a new quest, Prisoners. The Twilight Cultist dropped this key. Use it to free the Horde prisoners in the cages inside of Lagorak. Hurry before the prisoners become sacrifices to whatever lurks below. Okay, so we need to free five Horde prisoners. Let's go ahead and do that and resume the questing break. Go! Okay, so now we can turn in prisoners. Let's go ahead and do that. Job well done. Now you don't need to worry about what, what would have happened to them if you hadn't been around. The last one was even appreciative enough to give you a reward they'd be kept hidden on the person. And that's a Dark Spear Ritual Blade, which we don't really necessarily care about. So let's go ahead and finish up the remaining questing break. Go! All right, we are at the Brain Chamber, uh, the brain chamber of Lagorek, and we have these two other quests to turn in. So let's go ahead and do it. Yay! Yes, 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 yes. Runestones of Binding. Do you have all that was required? Yes. We will use these runestones to allow you to possess one of the water elementals. Okay, and then ascend no more. They shall ascend no more. Twilight Extermination. Now take the attuned runestone and use it to possess one of the bound torrents at the central temple. They will ignore you. You are beneath their notice. Use the elemental's powers to destroy the twilight devotees and their faceless overseers. All right, so this is actually a really cool quest. So I'm, I'm happy to be able to show this to you guys. We, we need to go to one of the bound torrents at this temple area. And when we do, we're basically going to create nine kinds of havoc within the temple. So here we go. We have a Twilight Ascendant Temple. And actually, is this a bound torrent? No, it's not. Um, we need an unbound elemental. I believe that's the one that we need to go for. Where is one? Oh, come on. Where is one? Because we need to target it. Uh, crap. Did somebody else take it? Is somebody else here questing? No. I was working so hard. Uh, can we go inside? Will there be one inside? Could there be one inside? No. Oh. And magic cut. It looks like I got booted. All right, guys. We are back. Um... Yeah, so in the middle of the recording, my internet died. And so now I've had to come back here. Mm, it's been about an hour since then. So let's go ahead and resume the questing. <clears throat> First of all, by taking this bound torrent and bringing it under our control. There you go. Now for this quest, all you have to do is take out the Twilight Devotees, the Faceless Overseers, and eventually it will take you into... The temple itself, I believe. There will be an additional objective. Let's go ahead and continue on. I don't remember everything these things do, but... Oh, there we go. So, Twilight Extermination has been taken care of. <clears throat> so, let's go ahead and take that in. I think it's Aranax speaking to us. No, it's Lagoric. Their devotions. Uh, I can't even remember the... Their devotions are silenced now that... You have their power. You must destroy their leader. <clears throat> oh, 
All that rises, the voice of the ancient presses against your mind. Now that you have stolen the energies of the faithful, enter the temple and destroy Halazil the Ascended. Oh, and I'm actually being attacked right now, so... Whoops, okay. I didn't have release, full powers, I have unlocked. So now, there is an interrupt, and I can't remember which one it is. Let's go ahead and do this really quick. Consume essence, there we are. All we gotta do is take out Halazeel. <laughs> there we go, Halazeel the Ascended has been taken out. I apologize if I'm going to cough a little bit, because, uh, like I said, I had to go kill an hour, and I was really hungry, so I just did lunch. <coughs> okay, screw you guys. I'm coming home. Okay, there we go. Hi, Vengeful Torrent. Bye, Vengeful Torrent. Let's go ahead and turn this quest in. There it is. Let's turn the quest in with Lagoric. And I believe this is the last one, and then he, unfortunately, will pass on. <clears throat> so, here he is. Hi, Lagorak. You have done myself and the Tide Hunter great service. Back to the Tenebrous Cavern. You must return to the Tenebrous Cavern. Aranax Stone Speaker awaits you within. I die now. There you go. Lagorak has died, which means you got to get out of here. It's time to go. No, this isn't. This doesn't have like a major countdown like uh, the spirit did. All you got to do is just get out of here, spawn up your Bashir Seahorse, and uh, head back to the Tenebrous Cavern. So we'll go ahead and do that with a quick magic cut. <clears throat> All right, we are back at the Tenebrous Cavern, and we are getting ready for end game here. So this is the last bit of quest for Bashir before we are done. Because we're going to start things up with Aranax Stone Speaker, so let's go ahead and do Hello, that. Friend. Hello again, monk. If I felt Lagoric die, a shame that such a magnificent being is gone. If we do not assist Neptalon, we will all meet the same fate. Do not let the darkness triumph. Okay, so defending the rift. <clears throat> the whispers of the elements are crowding my thoughts, Drakfu. The throne of tides is under siege. I cannot stand idly by while the Naga threaten Neptalon's realm. We must find a way to join forces with him. Nazgrim will escort me to the depths where I can commune directly with Neptulon. But I must i must ask you to take a more violent path. Keep the enemy forces distracted until I arrive safely at the entrance to the Throne of Tides. May the spirits see us through, Drakfu. Keep okay, there we go. So, we need to kill 15 Naga in the Abyss, uh, but I believe... Oh, do we not? We're close enough. Maybe we don't. Because uh, I remember, like, for the Alliance, you actually do take the submarine there. I guess we don't do that here. We're, we're just going to hit the Abyssal Breach as hard as we can. Here we go. That's kind of sad, because there was a really good uh, cutscene I wanted to show, and I was hoping that, that uh, we would get it too, but it looks like we don't. See, so, yeah. I must ask you to take a more violent path. Okay, so we are here. We have to kill 15 Naga within the Abyssal Breach, and there's lots of Faceless here, so we need to find our Naga. Where be the Naga? Here we go. So let's go ahead and have some fun. Boom! And just to speed things along, since it's going to take a while to get all the everybody questy break, go! Alright, that's 15 Naga. So we're going to go meet over at the Abyssal Breach. So there it is, the door to the realm, uh, or the elemental plane of water. Otherwise known as the Abyssal Maw. So let's go ahead and turn things in with, uh, Nazgrim. What do you need? Ah, oh, there you are. Aragorn has gone ahead to speak with Neptalon. We must hurry. All right, so let's see, we've got a snazzy new cloak. That's going to be helpful. Go for Twenty thousand leagues under the sea. That's a movie reference. 
I'm going in after Aranuk. Follow me, Drakfu. Okay, let's go. We we're going into the abyssal mall like a toilet. And here it is, the abyssal maw. Gee, you'd think it'd be covered in more water. Yeah. It's not very big. <laughs> I'm just going to warn people in advance. Now, unfortunately, where the Alliance get a full-on event, uh, looks like the Horde does not. So let me just kind of explain really quick what happens with the, with the Alliance. Um, you actually do mount a full-on assault. You board a submarine to uh, take on a full-scale assault, and you are then your submarine is then destroyed by Lady Najjar. So just to kind of bring the Battle Maiden back into the fray, you make your way to the Plane of Water, and unfortunately, Lady Najjar gains access into the Plane of Water and... Uh, faces off against Neptulon, and the way she does that is through the gigantic Kraken Azumat. So, unfortunately, that means Aranak has some bad news to deliver to the Earthen Ring, but before he's able to deliver it, a tentacle actually comes up and swipes him. And so that's actually what you're doing in the instance the Throne of Tides, is you're going to go recover Aranak, but at the same time, also try and help Neptulon. But unfortunately, we don't really get that quest, uh, or get that experience on Horde, which is kind of sad, actually. But that's going to go ahead and do it for the Vashir quest line, because um, that's it. That's all the quests that there are. So when we get back on Monday, we will start up in the next leveling zone for Cataclysm, which is, aptly enough, the elemental plane of Earth, Deep Home. We'll see you guys next time.